Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report and starting on the daily chart uh, here um, we're looking at wave 3 here and we're looking at an A wave, a B wave and we're looking at a C wave here in 5 waves. I can see that we've got wave 1 quite clearly and ABC for 2 here and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 for wave 3 here, wave 4 and we're looking down for wave 5 here. There um, is a possibility of a bullish market uh, here moving uh, higher in that this particular wave 3 is actually sitting in here and wave 4 in here as I've probably mentioned before and then having wave 5 on this spike down through here but it does leave wave 4 here rather small within here because it's not all of this pattern in here. We've got uh, movements for the US markets and other markets uh, that is further to the downside. So I'm quite happy here with wave four here at the moment. Um, we're not ready to short this yet uh, here unless the 5,800 becomes the retested resistance uh, in this particular space here. So just squash this up a little bit so we can see. So from wave B here, wave one and wave two here, and all the way down for wave three here. It's just that um, within this little space here, uh, wave three hasn't really, uh, wave five within wave three hasn't really completed the way that I um, should, w w should have done. So it's just a little bit sort of odd in here. So um, yeah, but for the time being, we'll call it this. Um, as I've probably mentioned before, because this is resistance here and now it's checked back as support over here, then technically looking for signals, we should be able to go long above this high here. But what I'm a little bit afraid of is that we could make one more little high here on a wave count and then move down through here. So we may get trapped uh, within all of this. Um, but technically we should take that uh, high through here. Um, in fact, we can bring that down and um, bring this down and take a high within here as well. And I'll just, we'll have a look at that in in the next one or two charts here. But bas basically what I want to say is while the market's above the 5,800, we can't short. As soon as it uh, drops below the 5.8, then we can short. So there is this situation here I've got, um, which is um, uh, wave, uh, well, I've obviously got this, this is the other old count through here, which is quite valid as well as having a low in here. Um, and then this would count this up as wave one and two here and so on. So I must have been chatting last time on this particular chart uh, here. So. But anyway, um, we're looking at it like this here with an A wave and a B wave and then one and two and one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave. Back down for the fourth wave here and then up for the fifth wave. So the fifth wave should make a high above wave three here. We don't actually need this big rectangle in here anymore. Um, so yes, look, technically we can... Um, uh, look for a long trade above here but we can bring it down to this one now and in fact we can bring it lower within here we're just going to have a look at that uh, in a moment but I'm sort of expecting this wave to finish here and then move down from that point so um, yeah but this is a signal here because it was resistance here and the market has migrated over to make a reasonably nice support here. So we can start taking certain highs and we always start from the top and then we move down and uh, so on. So let's just move into the uh, hourly chart uh, here. So this is the other count that I've got here <clears throat> where the market's actually completed in terms of an A and a B and then one and two and three and four and I've on the um, tick chart, I know we've only got one and two and three up here, so four here, and looking at this is five here. So it's possible that we've got the top in here already. And one of the other things too, is just a subtle point, we've had this trend line move through here as support, 
and now over here it's become resistance over here. So that's always a sign of weakness. Um, it doesn't mean um, much more than that, it's just a subtle sort of thing, um, but it has migrated across that side there. <clears throat> now on the bullish side of things, um, the move that, we'll look at this in a tick chart in a minute, where this move that's moved down through here is only in three waves. So if I can just borrow that, we don't need that there anymore. So normally we would come from this high down to this high, and in fact, we can come down to this high here uh, now as well. So on the long side, we can look at that market um, being breached, that high being breached there, and control save, I'll just save that. <clears throat> So, um, yeah, we want to be going long at that point and just copy that and we want to be going uh, low down here. Now, on this particular instance here, if we do get a move that comes down through here, normally we get a little bounce here, but if we move down through here, then um, you're looking for that retest there um, as you set up and then if that's breached, then you can move down from that point there. Um, yeah. So that's that, and just going on to the tick chart here, and actually this is the same for um, most of the most of the other Asian markets except for um, China. So the Nifty, the two two five, and so on. But uh, we don't need to look at that today. Um, <clears throat> so this is it on the tick chart here. So the current move down from the high here is actually in three waves here. So technically, if um, you know, so at the moment this would be a bullish um, correction here, but it's only bullish while um, I have to use I have to use one of these lines here. But I will just turn that into a green line just here. So if the market moves up through above this high here, then it makes this three waves here. But in the meantime here, this can be down for one, back for two, down for one fail here and move down again okay so um, just be mindful of that but if that if that's breached there then that makes that corrective and that if that gets breached that means it's corrective and then we'll be making a new high here so we need to be long at this point here and also as I mentioned before just copy that we need to be short down here in fact you could probably short it from this point here but if it if you do that, you have to expect to bounce off this number, so it's something that you have to accommodate. Um, and I wouldn't overtrade at that point, but once that's done and dusted, then you can also look to build shorts in here um, under the 5.8. And also looking to, I'll just do another one here, just in case it pans out. We're also looking at, um, at 5.772 here. If that becomes the resistance, then you want to be short there as well and then also two under the 50 here, under the midpoint. So these are the places to build into uh, the short trade uh, to the downside. Of course, you've um, got your own thoughts on these things too. I'm just using the trading levels and um, you know using price as those uh, stepping stones to move in that direction. The other thing too is that um, obviously the uh, unfortunate um, situation of Syria have been going on for seven years, which is um, this is just a crying shame. Um, however, uh, with Trump's uh, intervention uh, into uh, that uh, particular uh, country there, it hasn't really affected the, um, the weekend markets as such. So um, what I mean by that is that some of the American markets um, have a weekend market and, and they, they can trade through that weekend. They haven't really been hit very badly. Do you, um, so they're not down a lot, um, so they're only um, just down slightly, so they haven't really fallen out of bed, so to speak. So um, yeah, that may not affect the markets as, as such. So um, yeah, if you're thinking about that, then just have a look at the weekend markets for uh, Wall Street and uh, some of the other indices as well. Um, haven't really played out. So um, that's it really. Um, so just, just more about sort of strategy um, within within all of this. We um, expect in Australia, I'm still expecting the, I mean, I, I sort of expect the banks to rally today. So if I can bring across 
um, A and Z here, for instance. Um, CBA is the same. The only difference between CBA and A and Z really is that the move from wave three to four here, um, in this case here, it's very clear as an ABC. Um, with CBA, it counts up as five waves up here. And with CBA, it doesn't count very well here, but with CBA from the top, we've got five waves down. So I'm thinking that the banks can give a bit of an ABC pattern here before moving down uh, lower through this area through here. However, the, um, the resource side, as I mentioned before, if the banks are going to be sort of edging down somewhat, then we're going to be looking at the commodities I'll just look at a few here. So this is US crude here. I spoke before about this little correction here last time. And because it's in three waves here, that means we'll take out the top. Yes, it has taken out the top here, um, but uh, there would still be further to, uh, to, to go into that. Of course, it's going to run into resistance at 6.8 here, but it is trending up and um, uh, should have a little further to go within all of that. Also the uh, copper market as well, from the high here, um, well, this particular pattern here is just a larger pattern of this one here. So um, this one here made a new high. We expect this one here to make a new high as well. This would be an A wave here, a B wave here, and a C wave uh, coming into here. And in fact, that doesn't count that well. That still leaves us one, two, three and four and five here. So I've only got three waves down to here. So maybe I need to rejudge that a little bit, but um, at certain and until and while this is above the six five here, expect it to the upside. And then we can look at, well, Brent crude as well. I've just got that chart sort of open here. We've got three waves here on Brent. So we haven't taken out this top here yet. So we still expect crude to be up. So that's obviously going to help BHP and so on to move up. We've also got, um, bringing this into space here, we've also got, um, this is US spot gold on a daily chart here, and this move through here is corrective, so we can expect this to be uh, a high taken out here, so that will obviously work opposite to the banks, of course, and nickel here, once again, um, I've mentioned this one before, we've got a corrective move down through here, so we're looking to take this high out here, um, and um, the same with um, iron ore, but slightly different sort of concept here with iron ore. We know that we've been trending down through here, but I did notice that we had a little five wave structure here. So I was thinking that at least we would have a correction and this correction may still play out as an A wave and a B wave and a C wave down here, but we should push higher. We should make a new high above here. So I can see basically that the resources are going to be moving up but the banks can be moving down, but this can take the ASX a little bit higher. Um, and also too being um, Monday as well, Monday is normally the, the bullish day, so um, in line with, with Friday, not that um, Friday was strong for the, for the banks, but it was, it was stronger for the resources. So we did see BHP um, move up. So with BHP here, um, uh, we're trading, this is a, this market is 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 um, connected to the 30 here. This is the magnet number, and the market's having a correction at this this place here. Now I I, I figured that we had an A wave and a B wave and one two three four five for the C wave here. So I feel that it's finished and will move higher. So we did go long in here. It did gap up here. I figured that well. Um, it's gapped, but we'll just hold it for a little while because um, we'll see how this goes here. But if it's going to fail, this is where it's going to fail from. So don't go into it yet. If this becomes the um, support here eventually, then you can move into it. But to move into it here, it's just no point. So, But what I'm thinking is that um, from uh, from this low here to, this, to the $30 mark, here that as long as it stays above the 61.8% mark here and we can see that the resources are still sort of pushing up here um, then we need to uh, basically hold on to this position uh, here if you're a bit afraid of it well then this is the uh, place to get out of here because you can see that um, 
you know, it's being sold off coming into this particular number. So we can expect it to come back. It may, we may get lucky and it may just pop up through here and so on, but it certainly, we don't have support on this particular number just yet on 30 here. So, um, um, but the crude oil market should uh, take a little bit higher, plus the iron ore and so on uh, here. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, that's where that is. So I'm because this is corrective here, I'm expecting this top to be taken out here. That's why we've gone um, on that side of it. But nice to be on support rather than resistance. So we're still in danger zone here. Um, yeah. Alrighty, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Cheers.